What's going on, everybody? Dogman Dan here. We are in Warframe, and uh, my apologies, you know, that over the past several days you've seen some, ah, uh, not a lot of Warframe stuff, not a lot of anything, um, and I've had some playthrough stuff going on on another channel, and uh, just things have been really bad for these past couple weeks. I had some big doctor's appointments, I had a lot of major car repair. And tonight I came home to a bad compressor on my fridge, and everything in my fridge was gone. So we had to throw out all our food, and um, we have no fridge. It, quite frankly, I don't know when I'll be able to afford to get one, uh, with all the other expenses that I've spent in the last week. But, nonetheless, we're here for Warframe. But I had to share with you guys because, you know, that's how I do it. You guys are like family to me. So, anyway, update 20.2 is out. And would you believe that there is um, lots of fashion, some augment mods, and uh, no real new content. So, let's just quickly go over what's here. Okay, for full disclosure. Uh, as... Always. So this time, this one came from D.E. Taylor. What we've got here, we got the Centura Sandana. We'll show that off here in a minute. We got the uh, Negotiation Swarm for Anaros, the Scarab Swarm Augment. Scarab Armor protects Anaros from status effects, consuming 6% bonus armor for each effect resisted. Okay. So there's a trade off. Uh, Beleaguering Lantern. Lantern, I can't speak. Let's see, Lantern Augment. Uh, attracted enemies take 25% more melee damage. Okay. Um, obviously, that's not at max. Max rank would be higher. We'll look at the max rank in a second. Uh, piercing Navigator. So, Navigator Augment. Uh, let's see. Each hit increases the projectile's crit chance by 2.5% up to a max of 50% for Ivara. Don't know if that's good because I don't really use Ivara. I'm assuming it's probably decent with the critical chance. The new armor set, the Avia armor set. We'll take a look at that armor set and Zendana in a second, guys. Uh, and then Prolastic Flow. Of course, this one would be separate all by itself, right? So, Firewalker Augment. Ooh, uh, accumulates 75% of the damage Firewalker deals, unleashing it in a trail of fire that lasts 6 seconds. Uh, okay. 75% of the damage Firewalker deals, unleashing it in a trail of fire that lasts 6 seconds. So, at max rank on this, it's going to be... 150% of the damage Fire Walker deals, and you're going to unleash it in a trail of fire that will last 10 seconds. How do I know that? Because I am just that good. Um, um, I'll show that armor off here in just a second. Let's come into the mod pool. So, uh, yeah, start fusing. Max rank. There we go. Like I said, 150%. 10 seconds. I'm gonna try this out and see um, how that how that works. Definitely, because you guys know I like playing Naza, so uh, we're definitely gonna try that out for sure. Let me just apply this. Okay. Piercing Navigator. Uh, navigate Augment. Uh, each hit increases. Projectile Chance. So at max, we're going to get up to 10 by 10%. Critical Chance by 10% for a maximum of 50%. I don't even use her, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Uh, Titania, I use her sometimes. Lantern Augment, 100% more melee damage taken, okay. All my mods are disappearing. Get back here, thank you. Alright. 
And we got the Inaros one. So Inaros. Max on ham. So consumes 3% bonus uh, armor for each affected resist. So consuming 6% bonus armor at max, it consumes only 3%. So you're, the higher it is, the less consume it takes. So the less really negative you'd have on using this. Might try that because I have a nice Anaro setup that I like to play with. But at least you know that's there. Um, okay, so let's go ahead get Obi. Uh, and then appearance. Uh, attachments. Sindana. Let's find the Centuria Sindana. So that's what that looks like in Nog colors because I know some of you guys will ask me about that. Actually, it's kind of pretty cool looking. Uh, even though it is bleeding through with my dagger there. Still, uh, it's pretty cool looking. So basically they made one and tacked on two more because that's just how they did it. But let's hold that. Um, not fond of giving up my Targus armor. So... We're going to do it anyway because that new set is here. Where are you? Let me find it. Chest piece. Tiny little chest piece. Okay. Shoulder blades. Let me get them both on here. So they got like wings on them. Pretty funky. And the legs are kind of like wings as well. Pretty funky. Not too bad. Not too shabby in odd colors. Uh, let me come over here. Oh, that's right. That's my... And that was my... Yep, okay. So we'll just uh, look at that because... This is my October skin, you know, for cancer awareness. And uh, this is just, yeah, my other awesome skin on him that I've got set up. With the, the Fayark skin, if you will. Okay, so that armor set looks pretty good. I'm assuming it probably look better on, like, say, Zephyr, you know, with wings and all. Um, but overly... Not horrible. What did I? Yeah, it's all right. I mean, the wing, the wing arms look pretty decent. Um, um, what was I gonna tell you? Oh, that's what it is. So there is something big. They finally made the UI changes. So let's take a look at that. Full menu scale to match your resolution. As you can see, without me doing anything, it goes back, and this is me just logging in, it puts me back in what would be considered the legacy menu scaling. Uh, so pretty much similar to what was pre-update 20. Mod screen, foundry, all that stuff is going to look normal again. Thank God, because it was killing me. Um, but apparently under the interface, so under options, interface we can now do a scaling here okay so we can custom scale full custom you can change it down here back and forth uh, on that so you'll be able to scale it to fit a little bit better uh, for your screen resolution custom menu scaling is set and pretty much determined by you so uh, I'll play around with that a bit more uh, I guess, you know, just to figure out which fits well for me, but uh, uh, no, I don't want to save any changes right now. The screen is a little bit better than what it once was just on this one alone. So, yeah, thank God that they figured that one out. And they had a whole bunch of other stuff, and as always, I'll post that over on the NOG forums uh, if you guys want to check it out. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Um, I go back to, to doing what I got to do and... Uh, 
throw out a whole bunch more videos coming up, and I, I have a whole line of topics here for Warframe, just so you guys know. It's a new series that I'm going to do. Um, I just got to get a few videos prepped up, probably over the weekend when I've got some time. Um, in the meantime, hopefully you enjoy some of the other stuff. Really heavy into the division, you guys. I'm hoping you guys check out some of these recent ones I'm doing, because they're the runs that we're doing, if you're interested, are pretty much what you consider like the end game stuff. So it's really challenging in terms of the type of game it is, in terms of the RPG and having to have people have certain sets and things like that. But whatever, I appreciate the support that everybody does give me, and I know for for a fact that maybe not on YouTube, but over on the Alienware uh, forums, um, the division stuff from the Nog is just phenomenal. I love it over there, so I appreciate uh, I appreciate all those guys enjoying that stuff. Anyway, I'll catch you guys soon.